is up guys? It is me Max back again with another guitar tutorial and today we are going to take a look at Tones and I, Dance Monkey. This song in my opinion is going to be one of the biggest hits of 2019 but at the end of the year we'll see if I was right or not. The song actually came out like three weeks ago and I discovered the song in the week it came out but then I went on vacation like two days later and I couldn't record a video for it but I'm finally back I'm in the new apartment and I'm finally recording my first video in the new apartment. It's still a mess, but I'm making it work. And the song itself is super easy. We've got four chords in the entire thing, always in the exact same order. We've got the verse and intro, we've got the pre-chorus, which is also like the verse and intro, we've got the chorus and we've got the bridge. The only thing that changes is the rhythm, so we'll take a look at how we do that. And before we get started, my Instagram is down in the description as always. If you want to talk to me or see what's gone on in my life or ask me questions or literally anything, I would love to see you over there. And without any further ado, let's roll. So the very first thing we will be doing is taking a look at the chords we need in this song. The first one is going to be an F sharp minor. We've got our first finger, which is our index finger, across all six strings on the second fret. Third finger onto the fourth fret on the fifth string and pinky onto the fourth fret on the fourth string. We go down once and that's the F sharp minor. Our second chord is a rather standard chord because it's just a D. We've got our first finger on the second fret on the third string, second finger on the second fret on the first string and our third finger on the third fret on the second string. And now we don't want the sixth and fifth string to make a sound, so we take our thumb, we wrap around the top of our guitar neck here, and we slightly touch those two strings. So that the only empty string we hear is the D string. So we've got F sharp minor, D, next up, E, We've got our first finger on the first fret on the third string, second finger on the second fret on the fifth string, and third finger on the second fret on the fourth string. Now we don't have to mute any strings here. We just go down once again to check what the chord should sound like. So, so far we've got F sharp minor, D, E, and last but not least, we've got a C sharp minor. We've got our first finger across the fifth down to the first string on the fourth fret. Third finger onto the sixth fret on the fourth string, pinky onto the sixth fret on the third string, and second finger onto the fifth fret on the second string. Now this time around we have to mute the sixth string, so the lower E string, and we do that by slightly touching it up here with our first finger. And that's the C sharp minor. So we've got F sharp minor. So what do we do with those chords? Well, since the song is very clean and spacey, we want to keep it that way. We don't want to interfere with that. And I recommend just going along with the piano. And what the piano does is... Just go like that. So what we do here is we go down three times on each chord. Jump over and over to the next one, and so on and so forth. But what I think is pretty important here, aside from the timing, you'll get that down by just playing alongside the song, or you're just gonna do that a couple of times and you'll get that right. That's kind of hard to get across without having the actual song play. So, one thing in my opinion is pretty important here, and that is muting the strings in between each pick. Because as I said, the song is pretty spacey. And when we just go like that, it doesn't really have the same feel to it. So the way we do that is we go down and then we take our right hand and just put it on the strings. Just take the side of your hand, put it on the strings, don't slap it on, just gently but swiftly mute the strings and we go Just like that and that is pretty much the entire song except for the chorus and bridge and before actually going into the chorus I'll just show you what to do in the bridge because in the bridge we just go in the bridge 
encourage we keep that open space. I don't, I don't know, I keep saying space so much, but you know, that's what the song kind of is about. And we've got this whole open chord thing going in that bridge, so you won't have to mute the strings there. So the only thing we have to take a look at now is the chorus, which is what you saw me play in the intro of this very video. So once again, in the chorus, there is not too much going on, and we wanna keep it that way. We wanna emphasize each pump of the kick, so that would obviously be a down. But since it's the chorus, we also want that dynamic feel to it. So what do we do? We go down, down, up. And we do that four times, so every down, every first down, is emphasized since that is where the kick comes into play. And then we just go down up in order to keep it fresh and keep it dynamic. So what does that mean? We just go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up on each chord. And we do the next one. Just like that. And if that is a bit too hard for you, because those switches have to be kind of swift in order to have it sound clean, what you can do, and what a lot of guitarists actually do, is you just go. And now on that last down, down, up, you go down, down, and before that up, you already lift your fingers off, pick the empty strings, and go on to the next chord. That kind of sounds odd and off when you play it slowly, but when you do it fast, it will sound like this. So pretty much unnoticeable, but it makes it a lot easier to do those switches in time. So if you want to do that and kind of simplify it for yourself, go ahead, because no one will notice. That is totally fine. And you know what? That is actually the entire song. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop it a thumbs up. Helps me out more than you might think. And if you haven't done so already and are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's somewhere down there. And as always, I hope that I will see you guys next time.